worship at the footstool of his feet, for he is holy. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the high. Sound ensembles, praise him with triumph ensembles, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. I ponder that day in the Lord when all naked as convicts will appear before the judge we cannot bribe. Then it was great corrupt will sound, the foundations of earth will be shaken, and the dead will be raised from the graves, and all will become one of stature. And all that is hidden will be presented openly before you. They shall mourn and wail who have never been repented. And they shall depart into the outer fire with joy and exaltation with a lot of righteous enter into the heavenly chamber. Anonymous. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us first cleanse ourselves, O brethren, by the Queen, the Queen of Virtues. For behold, she is here providing us with a wealth of blessings. She suppresses our swelling passions and reconciles offenses with the Master. Therefore, let us welcome her with a cheerful heart crying out to Christ our God. You who rose from the dead, keep us uncondemned as we glorify you, only sinless one. Both now and forever, unto the ages of ages, amen. You are supremely blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, for through him who, who became you Hades Hades has been captured and Adam has been called back. A curse had been killed and Eve had been freed. Death has put to death and we have been brought back to life. Therefore we extol him and cry out, O oh Christ our God, you are blessed. So was, so was your good pleasure. Glory to you. Glory to you, O giver of life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth Father's right, and have mercy on us. 
for only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father of men. Every day will I bless you, I will praise your name forever, to the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without sin. For you are the God of mercy, and love and mankind, and to you, give glory, Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Your name is praise and glory, peace be with you all. God, forever, amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Holy Lord. Lord. You dwell on high and see things below. Let us all our creation with your overseeing eye. We bow our soul now and we pray to you. Extend our invisible hands from your own God and place and bless us all. If we have sinned willingly or unwillingly, forgive us as a good and loving God, granting us your holy and heavenly blessings. To your God, show mercy to us and save us. Teach me your Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, O Lord. Blessed are you, Christ our God, always now and ever to the ages of ages. You have been our refuge, Lord. Most holy Theotoko, save us. to the next, I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord. May Christ, our true Teach God, who is the merciful God who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his pure God, holy mother, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, the holy glorious, and all our apostles, St. Mark the Evangelist, patron of our church, of Codratos, and the fellow martyrs of him, Anastasia of Alexandra, Alexandria, and Michael the new martyr, whose memory we celebrate today of all your saints, for the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God. Mercy on us and save us. Amen. Holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. May the Lord guide your steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you in his kingdom always, now ever to the age of ages. Holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O immortal, have mercy on us. O Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Oh, 
for this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. To have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop Alexius, for the honorable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great church of Christ, for this holy archdiocese, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Through the intercession of the Theotokos, save us, save us. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, memory of most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O ti sondo kratos, que suesti ni vasilia, que dinamis, que doxa, tu patros, que tu iu, que tu iu pneumatos, nin que ai, que sus eonas done onon. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise Him as long as I have breath. Sonny Masiete, O Anastasek Neclon, Salonazi, Alleluia. Bless you, whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us, who sing to you, Alleluia. 
Lord reigns unto the ages of ages, your God of Zion, from one generation to the next. Again, again, peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, now, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are good and loving God, and you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. That you had risen from the dead of Christ our God, bestow in your mercy upon the world evermore. Sophia, Orphie, come let us worship and bow down before Christ our Lord. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Up 
Simon, que si tengo xana pembo men, to patri que to yo que to ayo pnemati nin que ahi. Tu se oras to ne o no. Great is his power. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, food will not commend us to God. We are no worse if we do not eat, and no better off if we do. Only take care, lest the liberty of yours somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. For if anyone sees you, a man of knowledge, at table in an idol's temple, might he not be encouraged, if his conscience is weak, to eat food offered to idols? And so, by your knowledge, the weak man is destroyed, the brother for whom Christ died. Thus, sinning against your brethren and wounding their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food is a cause of my brother's failing, I will never eat meat, lest I cause my brother to fall. Am I not free? Am I not an apostle? Have I not seen Jesus our Lord? Are not you my workmanship in the Lord? If to others I am not an apostle, at least I am to you, for you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord." Let us hear the Holy Gospel. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord 
Lord said, when the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the angels with Him, then He will sit on His glorious throne. Before Him will be gathered all the nations and He will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And He will place the sheep at His right hand, but the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, O blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see thee hungry and feed thee, or thirsty and give thee drink? And when did we see thee a stranger and welcome thee, or naked and clothe thee? And when did we see thee sick or in prison and visit thee? And the king will answer them, Truly, I say to you, as you did it, to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will also answer, Lord, when did we see thee hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister to thee? Then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Be with you who proclaims the gospel. Again, we fall before you and we pray to you. O oh, good and loving God, hear our supplication, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O oh God, progress in life, sp faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so they may always worship you with reverence and love and partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always being guarded by your divine power, that we may give glory unto you, unto the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. serve you as great and awesome even for your heavenly powers, but because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You have served as our high priest and the Lord of all. Spirits of the best and with the grace of the priest, that I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy, pure body and your precious blood. Therefore, I come with my bowed head and I pray to you, turn your face not away from me, nor reject me among your children. But make me your sinful and awareness for me to offer you these gifts. For you, O Christ our God, are the offer of the offer of the one who has received and distributed them to you. Give glory together with your all holy, good, and life giving to Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus. 
Pandonimon Nisi Kyrios o Theos and the Vasilia of the Pandote Ninkeahi Keisus Eonas ton Eonon Petos drepti mare tore lor, Christin sava pominiaska domnem nu, domnezu in truem puriciasa, 
Gospod, Bog spomjene iz fenetu sarve svoje, svak da sad i uvek i uvek uva. Amen. El Senjor, Dios te kverde do nos otros, en su reino enteramente ora i siempre, Por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. May the Lord our God remember us all in his heavenly kingdom, both now and forever, and on to the ages of ages. And the Lavus, O Son, Eleison, que the Ephilax, O Nimas, O Theos, Tisiharity. That the whole day may be perfect, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and in repentance, let us ask the Lord. And let us ask for a Christian and our life, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. O Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Amen. 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 Amen.
in wisdom, let us be attentive. All together, I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, from whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalo, stomen metafovu, proskumen tina yen anaforan, en irini prosferin. Elevon irinis, isi anenesevo. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts on us home and ask our Dios. Let us give thanks unto the Lord of Haristisum and O Kirio. comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of nothing into being, and when we fell away, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all the things we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim, the seraphim, six-winged, many eyes soaring aloft upon their wings. that you gave your only begotten Son so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather he delivered himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Lavete, fayete, tutumu estito soma, Tuiperimon, clomenoni, safesina, martion. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Piete, exaftu pandes, tutu estito emamu. 
totis genis de atikis, tu iperimon polone hinomenon, is afesina martion. For our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second in glory is coming again. Tasa ecton son si prosferoman katapanda kadi aponda. We offer to you these gifts from our, your own gifts in all and for all. And once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. And we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon these gifts here presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Εξαιρετός της Παναγίας Αχράντου, υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσμήνης ημών Θεοτόκου και υπερθένου Μαρίας. For St. John the Prophet, and for the Holy Glorious and all our Apostles, Μακαρίζησε την Θεοτόκον, την Ανιμακάριστον, Remember also the Lord those who have fallen asleep and the hope of the resurrection Above all, oh, remember, Lord, Phylaxios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, the country and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, and captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches, and those who care for the poor and send down to us your rich mercy. We pray today, O Lord, for those enduring religious persecution about the world, for peace in the world, for your servants, our Yiros, Sophia, Laddie, Alexandra, Marlene, Mary, Jane, Pete, Dimitri, Peter, Melanie, Talia, Elena, Alexandra, Gloria, Stavros, George, Nicholas, Mary Ellen, Barbara, Chris, Ben, Birdon, Samantha, Michael, Margarita, Kathy, Irene, Zachary, Evgenia, Evgenia, Michael, o Olivia, Constantinos, Theo Theodoros, Ioannis, Evdokia, Don, Luke, Theodore, Luigi, Katerina, Sofia, Stavros, Katerina, Theodore, and Stavro, and for your servants, O Lord, Katerina, Daphne, and Mary. And have mercy on us and save us as a good God who loves mankind. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with you.
Good morning, dear faithful. Always a blessing to be together and to offer the divine liturgy so that we can all come together to worship as one church family. It's always a blessing. You heard last week that we had some visiting priests, and I'd like to just mention who we have here today. Certainly you know Father Alexander and Father Jim, and their dear friend who is here with us as well, one of the true stalwarts of our Orthodox faith in America. Father Al Demas is here with us, and he was formerly the, amongst many things in his life, he was the chancellor of the metropolis of Boston at one point. He also, I'll tell you from a personal perspective, there's a new initiative of the last, maybe within the last 10 years or so of the archdiocese of the GOA. And Father Al is the one, the clergy, who spearheads this program called the Clergy Family Initiative, which gives aid to clergy families to alleviate debt amongst other things. So we thank him for spearheading that um, approach and for the other many things in life. We also have Father Lorendios again with his w beautiful family here, Presbyteria Camille, and the children who are here. It was a great joy because the other day I saw him in church and then shortly after, a couple days later, I saw him playing basketball with his son here at church. So a great way. When we bring the children to church, everything seems to follow suit after that. So for the kids that want to get involved, the best place is to start in worship and then to go forth from there. Speaking of the things that we have coming up, we had a very busy weekend, including today. We had two funerals on Friday. We had Saturday of the Souls Liturgy yesterday with the beautiful names that we offered in memorial. We had two baptisms following. Today, we certainly have the Divine Liturgy, which we're here present for. And we have two things to attend to after Divine Liturgy today. We have the Oratorical Festival, our parish level oratorical. We thank all of the parents and the participants who have prepared thus far for their Sunday church school teachers and for the guides as well. And we also have the last in this time frame of our Thinking Theologically class where our catechist Jamie really guides us into a different level, a different experience into some of these topics that we um, see on more of a surface level in some of our classes. So may our dear Lord continue to bring us together as we learn about the faith. This is one of the last Sundays we're gonna be talking about this, but this is our Lenten challenge. And we ask all those who are interested in participating in the Lenten challenge to go onto Realm and to sign up. Once again, sign up personally for those in your family who wish to participate and are able to. And if you have any trouble with Realm or anything like that, will certainly be available in the church fellowship hall. And during Great Lent, we also will be going through a book. Father Mark will be leading a book discussion every Wednesday night during Wednesday Night Live. And those books that we are going to be reading and studying through are available in the bookstore as of today. So may our dear Lord continue to bless us and to bring us together in his holy name. Amen. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted us holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering to spiritual fragrance, may return down, sent down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Lord, Lord. We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries, your precious body and blood, from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation, and make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, 
και καταξίωσον ημάς δέσποτα με τα παρησίας ακατακρίτως τολμάν επικαλείσε σε τον επουρεάνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγει Πάτερ ημών ο εν της ουρανής αιασίτου το όνομά σου ελθέτου η βασιλεία σου γεννηθήτου το θέλημά σου ως εν ουρανό και επί της ζης τον άρτον ημών των επιούσιων δώσε μην σήμερα και άφεσε μην το αφελή με τα ημών ως και εμείς αφήμεν τους φαλέτες ημών και εμείς εν έγινες ημάς εις πειρασμών αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Tatăl nostru care le ești în ceruri sfințească se numele tău vie împărăția ta facă-se voia ta precum în cer așa și pe pământ pâinea noastră cea spre ființă dă-ne nouă astăzi și ne iartă nouă greșelile noastre precum și noi iertăm greșiților noștri și ne nu de ce pe noi în ispită ci ne izbăvește de cel de clan amin For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages Amen Peace be with you all To the Lord. That you brought all things out of nothing into being, Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O God, Master, guard the course of our lives according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace and mercy and love for us, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, proscomment. The holy gifts are for the holy. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken but not divided, for every eaten and ever consumed, sanctifying those who partake. Jesus Christos and God. Jesus Christ conquers. Good morning. Good morning. What a joy it is to be at St. Mark's with a wonderful clergy and all of you in this outstanding and worshipful and delightful 
and blessed community of St. Mark. God bless you. There was a very large Bible class, and two men were called upon to recite the 23rd Psalm. One was an accomplished speaker, trained in techniques of speech and drama. He in the tone the psalm with great beauty and power. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And when he had finished, his audience applauded with enthusiasm and asked him to repeat the verses that they may again would hear his wonderful rendition. Well, then the second man recited the same words, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But when he finished, not a word came from the audience. Instead, the people sat quietly in a deep mood of prayer and devotion. Then the first man got up and he said, I have a confession to make. The difference between what you have just heard from my friend and what you heard from me is that I know the psalm, my friend knows the shepherd. This pre-Lenten season, brothers and sisters, is leading us to know the shepherd and the parable of the last judgment in today's gospel lesson confronts us head on with one of the great teachings of our Christian faith. It is one that many of us still have yet to grasp, even though we may have been members of the church all of our lives. To put it as simply as possible, the very best way to know and experience the presence of our Lord, who is our shepherd, the very best way to make our journey inward toward God is through the outward journey towards our brothers and sisters and to others. One theologian has put it so simply, the prodigal son cannot fully experience the father's love until he has walked the road on the Jericho along with a good Samaritan. Jesus said, the son of man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. He did this throughout his entire life and ultimately on the cross. And he made it very clear in his teachings that those of us who are his followers are to be women and men for others as well, to reach out in the spirit of love to those, to our families, to those in our neighborhoods, to those in our churches and in our world. And this teaching appears most powerfully in the parable of the last judgment, which we have just read this morning from the gospel of St. Matthew. One of the reasons that St. Matthew's gospel is placed first in the listing of the New Testament books is that it is the most inclusive of all of Jesus' teachings. The Sermon on the Mount is found only in the Gospel of St. Matthew. And only in Matthew's Gospel do we find this parable of the Last Judgment. It's a key parable to our Christian experience. In order to understand this, we need to pause and reflect on this pre-Lenten season. We need to celebrate the reality of God's amazing grace in our lives. We need to celebrate the fact that God, who is the creator of heavens and earth, is a God who is continuously offering to all of us his loving presence as a source of meaning for our lives. Many of us may have not discovered this as yet, but the gospel truth is that the meaning of our lives is not derived from our money and our possessions, not from our reputation in this world, not from our worldly achievements, 
but from our experience and interactions we have with our God. God, in his goodness, has given us many ways to position ourselves to experience his love for us. And prayer certainly is a shining example. Worship, worship in this magnificent church, being here is a special time of thanksgiving and another example. But ultimately, brothers and sisters, when all is said and done, and we stand before the throne of God, the only question remaining is, did you feed the hungry? Were you there when they needed you? Did you serve me? Did you love me in this way, Jesus asked? Did you visit me? Did you reach out to me? By visiting and reaching out to my brothers and sisters in need. When we hear this parable about clothing the naked and feeding the hungry, we tend to think, and rightfully so, of the physical situations of life in this world and the structures of our society that needed to be improved. But often we forget that Jesus' words are loaded with deep meaning. There are many husbands and wives, many children and family members, many people close to us who are starving for emotional and spiritual support, who are starving for acceptance, starving for forgiveness, and starving for understanding. There may be people very close to us who hunger for thirst for the discovery of meaning in their lives and their relationships with others. Yes, we're called to have this ministry of love to the world, but also a ministry of love to those who are closest to us. Outreach to our family and friends, indeed, and outreach to those in our circle of life. The Lord God Almighty, in his infinite goodness, has implanted deep within us the precious seeds of his mercy and love. If we nurture them and allow them to flower in our innermost being, they will produce new seeds for us to plant out of simple love for others, feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, clothes to the naked, visiting those who are sick or imprisoned, showing hospitality to the stranger. These are ways of experiencing Christ's presence in our lives most deeply and most abundantly. When we move ourselves into this ministry of love, we find ourselves not only knowing the psalm, but also knowing the shepherd. There's a story that when Albert Einstein was on the lecture circuit, giving his talks about the theory of relativity, he ordinarily traveled in a chauffeur-driven car. One day, while on the road, the story goes, Einstein's chauffeur said to him, Dr. Einstein, I've been with you so long. I've heard this lecture so many, many times. I rememberized it. I know it, and I'll wager I could deliver it myself. Well, it's said that Einstein was indeed a betting man. He said, you know what? I'm going to give you that opportunity. The people at this small school where I'm to lecture next have never, ever met me. Before we get there, let's stop outside the parking lot and we'll switch places. I'll come in the front, put on your chauffeur's cap, and you sit in the back. And then when we enter the school, I'll introduce you as me, and you can give the lecture. Well. Einstein sat in the audience, and the chauffeur got up to give that lecture. And Professor Einstein was so impressed. His delivery was beautiful. He delivered the lecture flawlessly. But as the lecture concluded, a professor in the audience rose, and he asked a very complex question about relativity involving mathematical equations and formulas. Well, the quick-thinking chauffeur wasn't flustered. He said, I'm surprised you asked such a simple question like this. It's so simple that I'm even going to ask my chauffeur to stand up and give you the answer. <laughs> How do we Christians achieve wholeness of life? 
How do we get to know who we are and what we ought to do? How do we achieve fulfillment as human beings? How do we achieve a deep sense of life's worth and purpose? The answer to these questions is so simple that you may not believe me if I tell you. So I'm going to ask Jesus to give us the answer. Feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, love one another as I have loved you, and you'll become the uniquely beautiful and fulfilled human being that God wants you to be. May we feed the hungry and give drink to the thirsty and reach out to those in need, because in them we see the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Good Shepherd, always caring for all of his sheep. This I pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, all together from the back of the Green Book, I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. The fear of God with faith, love, draw near. <clears throat>
tidings. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. He will delight in his commandments. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. His seed shall be mighty on the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. Glory and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness continues unto ages of ages. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. For the upright light springs up in darkness, for he is merciful, compassionate, and righteous. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. A good man is compassionate and lends. He will manage his words with judgment. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. Alleluia. God, your people, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true Lord. We have received the heavenly spirit. The exalted of God above we the have found the, the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity who has said, forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken in the divine, holy, pure, mortal, heavenly life, cure awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We thank you, loving master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification and to you we owe for glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And in Ennipur Alpha Man, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above coming from you, the Father of lights. And to you, we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, this morning we continue with our prayers, offering memorials for the following servants of our Lord, Constantinos Stamoulos, a 20-year memorial for him and for the wonderful recent 40-day memorial for her sister of Mary Manos, for Charlotte Sheenas. Let us pray together for their eternal salvation. In your place of rest, O oh Lord, where all your saints abide, give rest also to the souls of these your servants. Only you, O oh Lord, are immortal. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You are our God who descended into Hades and freed the captives from their bondage. Grant rest also, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Only pure and immaculate virgin who gave birth to God in virginity, pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. With the saints give rest, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, but life everlasting. Maton Aion Anapason Christi Tas Psychaston Dulon Su Antha Ucasti Ponos Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, Costandinos and Charlotte, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and give life to your world, give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants who have fallen asleep in a place of righteousness, in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. And as a good and loving God, forgive every sin in which they have committed in word, deed, or thought. 
For there is no person who lives and does not sin, except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. Christ our God, for you, o Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have fallen asleep, and unto you do we offer up glory, unto your eternal Father, and your holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May Christ, our true God, through the intercession of his holy and all pure mother, the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy, glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, of the praiseworthy apostles, and of St. Mark the Evangelist, patron of our church, of the saints, the ancestors of God. Joachim and Anna, and of St. Codratos and his holy martyrs with him, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity guide and protect you all on this day and forevermore. Amen. Please be seated. Please come forth for Andideron. Father Jim and I will be distributing Andideron. Please know that the realm is next door if you need help with that. Also, thinking theologically, the class is being offered in the, multi, in the conference room. That's the one in the office building. And then our oratorical will be offered today as well. May we all attend to the wonderful things today. Amen. So please come forth to Father Alexander is going to. It's going to be the Father Alexander's giving on Dideron this morning. God bless you all and have a beautiful day. Thank you.